about three days ago, Leanne and I uh, received some news that wasn't that great that one of our neighbors had passed on. You know, somebody comes running up the road, you know, uh, Alejandro Morio Anoche, Alejandro Liani Barry, Alejandro Morio Anoche. So it means uh, Alejandro died last night. Gosh, we've known old Alejandro. He was uh, barely 70. He wasn't that old, but uh, we've known uh, Alejandro for about uh, 10, going on 11 years now. And uh, he was, a, he was a, a piece of work, though, I'll tell you that. But uh, he was a peaceful guy. Uh, he kind of loved his rum and animals more than he did other people. He didn't need peop more, you know, many people in his lives. He, he was happy in his little wooden house and he'd slaughter pigs for a living and what have you. The markets would bring him and he would butcher them. He did a great job at that. I have to say that you know, the markets would pay him for each animal he had butchered. And it gave him enough money for food and uh, the little house he had wasn't much to take care of so that didn't cost all that much. And of course his uh, little bit of uh, Brugal. Anyway, the one thing about Alejandro, though, every other day you'd see him out at the cow field feeding the cows the pinonas. And uh, I've said in previous videos, pinonas are, uh, I guess, the equivalent to what cotton candy would be to a young child. You know, it's obviously a flavor that uh, the cows love, and they'll chase them across the field rather than eat grass. So every day, every other day, you'd see Alejandro out there. And uh, he'd be, you know, breaking off branches and feeding them to the cows. And the cows just used, got used to coming over there every day. And why am I telling you this? It's because of what you're watching. Uh, Leanne and I, uh, we're, you know, we were invited to the funeral. And over the years, we've kind of gotten used to being the only foreigners and, you know, events or Christmas uh, gatherings and little farm parties out, you know, out in the back country. That's just our way of life. But anyway, we're in the procession probably fourth car third fourth fifth car down it's not it's not important but as we hit the main road going into cabrera uh it's it's the main highway there's this herd of cows on the main highway with nobody leading them and i mean a herd of cows probably close to a hundred now this is something that didn't come to mind but we're so used to seeing different things here in the in the DR, and it's a big reason why we love living here. But um, this didn't come to mind till uh, about an hour after we got back from the uh, funeral. That uh, Leanne and I, not, we've never seen that. Sure, we've seen hundreds of uh, you know moving cows from field to field, and you've seen it on our video channel and things like that. But we've never seen an unguided herd of cows stampeding down the main highway, especially at the exact same time that the procession met with the main highway. Now, what makes this even that much more interesting is we're filming just, you know, I'm just giving you some loop I shot on my iPhone. I thought it was so, you know, unique. I wasn't obviously going to film a funeral, that's, you know, but, but this going to the funeral and watching all these cows on the main highway, that was something we haven't seen in, in uh, the, over the decade that we've been living in Cabrera. Anyway, it's funny how the herd, a large part of it, parked themselves at the far side of the intersection and cars are honking and trucks are honking their horn. They're not getting through, but anyway, they were forcing everybody to turn right and, and the funeral park was a quarter block away from that. And after everybody turned right, they all kind of picked up and went, continued on their way. So it's the funniest most coincidental thing or is it that I don't know but anyway uh, I thought it was worth uh, you know I'm glad to see Alejandro had a good turnout and um, rest in peace but it is kind of unique and anyway uh, it made us think because uh, Leanne brought it up about an hour after we got home very interesting okay guys till next time